access your free language gifts right now before they expire. This month, you're getting 20 PDF ebooks and workbooks for language learning. There are ebooks on the most common adjectives, nouns, and verbs, slang words and phrases, plus workbooks teaching you greetings, how to talk about time, and much more. You'll see all of our 20 ebooks and workbooks on the inside. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. In this lesson, we're going to talk about using common adverbs of frequency to talk about your daily habits in Japanese. Okay, let's begin by looking at the vocabulary that we're going to use in this lesson. On this side of the board is this bar graph. The idea with this graph is to give you an idea of the differences in frequency between these adverbs. So for this lesson, let's imagine that this is a scale of days. So from zero days in a week to one, two, three, all the way up to seven days a week. We're going to look at different adverbs of frequency that you can use to express different levels of frequency of an action for your life. So let's begin over here. At the seven day level is mainichi, mainichi. Mainichi means every day, every day, every day, mainichi. Something you do every day is something you can use mainichi to talk about. Second is this one, itsumo, itsumo. So itsumo means always, always. So something that you do very, very often, but maybe not every day, can be used with always. So we can use itsumo to describe that. The next one is yoku. Yoku. So yoku means often. Yoku is something that's a little bit less than always, something a little bit less than itsumo, maybe on this scale around the four to five day mark. The next one is tokidoki. Tokidoki, sometimes. Tokidoki, so sometimes is a little bit less than often. Following that is amari. Amari. Amari means seldom. Seldom. So something you don't do very often. And finally, at the end of the scale over here, at the zero day point, is zenzen. Zenzen. So zenzen means never. So we're going to practice using all of these words and we're going to put them together with some other information to create basic sentences that you can use to talk about your daily life. So let's move along to the dialogue section. Okay, let's take a look at a short dialogue that uses one of these adverbs of frequency. Let's start with this short exchange here. So the first person says, Asagohan wo tabemasu ka? Asagohan wo tabemasu ka? Which means, do you eat breakfast? Asagohan wo tabemasu ka? The response is, hai, mainichi tabemasu. Hai, mainichi tabemasu. Which means, yes, I eat breakfast every day. In this sentence, mainichi in red is the adverb of frequency. This one means every day. So the response is, yes, every day I eat, quite literally. So let's take a look next at some other example sentences that use different adverbs of frequency. All right, let's take a look at a couple of other example sentences that use adverbs of frequency. First, tokidoki ongaku wo kikimasu. Tokidoki ongaku wo kikimasu. In this sentence, the adverb of frequency is here. Tokidoki, sometimes. This sentence means, I sometimes listen to music. Tokidoki ongaku wo kikimasu. You'll notice the verb at the end of this sentence is positive. Kikimasu, kikimasu. Let's compare this to the next example sentence. Anmari kohi wo nomimasen. Anmari kohi wo nomimasen. In this sentence, the adverb of frequency is here, anmari, which means seldom. This sentence means, I seldom drink coffee. Note in this sentence, the verb is in the negative form. Nomimasen, nomimasen. Anmari kohi wo nomimasen. In this sentence, the verb at the end was positive. We're going to talk about why in the next section when we look at the grammar.
Okay, now let's take a look at the grammar patterns you need to know to make sentences like these. There are two patterns, one uses positive and one uses negative verb forms. Let's look at the positive verb form pattern first. You use this positive verb form pattern when your adverb is one of these. Itsumo, yoku, fudan, tokidoki, tamani, mainichi. So we didn't talk about fudan and tamani in this lesson. We didn't use them in the focus vocabulary section, but they are commonly used. You can think of fudan as something like usually, and tamani as something like occasionally or every once in a while. The point is, when you use one of these adverbs of frequency to express your idea, you need to use the positive verb form. So this means something something, must. So this indicates you need to use the verb in the positive form. It can be polite or it can be casual form. That's up to you. It depends on who you're talking to. But make sure you use the positive verb form when you use one of these adverbs. For example, we saw that up here in tokidoki ongaku wo kikimasu, the positive form. Then, the negative form. When you use one of these adverbs of frequency, amari or zenzen, you need to use the negative verb form. So something, something, masen, if you're using the polite form. If you're using the non-polite form or the casual form, that's also okay, but just make sure that you use the negative. We saw this in this example sentence here. Amari kohi wo nomimasen. So we use the negative because we use this adverb of frequency, amari. So when you're building your own sentences, make sure you consider which adverb of frequency you're going to use and check to make sure your verb form matches. A quick and easy way to remember the pattern to use or to remember the order of words is this. You can imagine I here for your subject if you're making a sentence about your everyday life. I plus your adverb here plus your verb phrase. So you can put these three elements together, subject, adverb, verb phrase, to make a sentence like these. Do you remember how to say every day? Mainichi. Mainichi. And how to say eat? Tabemas. Tabemas. Do you remember how to say I eat every day? Mainichi tabemas. Mainichi tabemas. And how to say drink? Nomimas. Nomimas. Do you remember how to say listen? Kikimas. Kikimas. Do you remember how to say breakfast? Asagohan. Asagohan. And how to say music? Ongaku. Ongaku. Do you remember how to say coffee? Kohi. Kohi. And how to say often? Yoku. Yoku. Do you remember how to say sometimes? Toki doki. Toki doki. And how to say always? Itsumo. Itsumo. Do you remember how to say never? Zenzen. Zenzen. 
and how to say seldom. Amari. Amari. Okay, great. So now you know how to use common adverbs of frequency to talk about your daily habits in Japanese. If you have any questions, comments, or if you want to practice making some example sentences with this information, please feel free to do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks very much for watching this lesson, and I will see you again soon. Bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. In this video, you learn how to introduce yourselves in Japanese. Listen to the conversation. Ready? Hajimemashite, watashi wa Emma desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Once more. Hajimemashite, watashi wa Emma desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Let's start with, はじめまして. 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 はじめまして comes from the word はじめて, meaning for the first time. This is the first thing you say when introducing yourself, so it comes before your name. After this, she says, 私はエマです. Watashiwa meaning as for me can be omitted because it's clear the speaker is talking about him or herself in the context of a self introduction. Finally, Yuya answers Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Yoroshiku お願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。Yoroshiku literally means be good to me, please. In the context of meeting someone for the first time, it translates as pleased to meet you. Let's listen to the conversation once more. はじめまして、私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in the bio for more Japanese videos. Can you introduce yourself in Japanese? Let's practice. I'll ask a question and you respond in Japanese. Ready? Do you remember how to say nice to meet you? はじめまして。はじめまして。And the word for I. 私。私。Do you remember how Emma says, I'm Emma? All together, do you remember how Emma says, Nice to meet you. I'm Emma. はじめまして。私はエマです。はじめまして。私はエマです。And do you remember how the police officer says, Pleased to meet you? よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。Let's practice. First, listen, then repeat. Ready? はじめまして、ゆうやです。はじめまして、ゆうやです。Let's try another. Listen and repeat. よろしくお願いします。
Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in the bio for more Japanese videos. Do you remember how to introduce yourself in Japanese? Here's a quiz. Imagine you're Emma. Introduce yourself to Yuya. Ready? Hajimemashite. Watashi wa Emma desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Listen again and repeat. Hajimemashite. Watashi wa Emma desu. はじめまして。私はエマです。Let's try another. Imagine you're Yuya Ohara. Respond to Emma's self-introduction. Ready? はじめまして。私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Listen again and repeat. よろしくお願いします。Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in the bio for more Japanese videos. In this video, you learn how to introduce yourselves in Japanese. Listen to the conversation. Ready? はじめまして。私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Once more. はじめまして。私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Let's start with はじめまして。はじめ。ましてはじめましてはじめまして comes from the word はじめて meaning for the first time this is the first thing you say when introducing yourself so it comes before your name after this she says わたしはエマですわたしはエマです わたしはエマです。わたしは meaning as for me can be omitted because it's clear the speaker is talking about him or herself in the context of a self-introduction. Finally, Yuya answers よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。Yoroshiko Onegaishimas. Literally means be good to me, please. In the context of meeting someone for the first time, it translates as pleased to meet you. Let's listen to the conversation once more. はじめまして。私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in the bio for more Japanese videos. Can you introduce yourself in Japanese? Let's practice. I'll ask a question and you respond in Japanese. Ready? Do you remember how to say nice to meet you? はじめまして はじめまして。And the word for I. Watashi. Watashi. Do you remember how Emma says, I'm Emma? Watashi wa Emma desu. Watashi wa Emma desu. All together, do you remember how Emma says, Nice to meet you. I'm Emma. はじめまして。私はエマです。
はじめまして。私はエマです。And do you remember how the police officer says, pleased to meet you? よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。Let's practice. First, listen, then repeat. Ready? はじめまして、ゆうやです。はじめまして、ゆうやです。Let's try another. Listen and repeat. よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in the bio for more Japanese videos. Do you remember how to introduce yourself in Japanese? Here's a quiz. Imagine you're Emma. Introduce yourself to Yuya. Ready? Hajime まして私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Listen again and repeat. はじめまして、私はエマです。はじめまして、私はエマです。Let's try another. Imagine you're Yuya Ohara. Respond to Emma's self introduction. Ready? はじめまして、私はエマです。よろしくお願いします。Listen again and repeat. よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in the bio for more Japanese videos. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. This month, you're getting 20 PDF ebooks and workbooks for language learning. They are ebooks on the most common adjectives, nouns, and verbs, slang words and phrases, plus workbooks teaching you greetings, how to talk about time, and much more. You'll see all of our 20 ebooks and workbooks on the inside. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Want to learn your target language in 10 minutes a day or less? Mastering a language does take some time, but you can learn in just 10 minutes a day if you have the right resources. Five easy ways to learn in under 10 minutes a day. And in this guide, you'll discover 1. why learning in small chunks of time is the best approach if you want to become fluent, and 2. the five resources you can use to learn the language fast. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, how can you learn a language in 10 minutes or less? Well, first, you need resources that help you learn in small chunks of time. And once you can put in a few minutes a day every day, then you'll have a strong learning routine. You'll finally be consistent, and this consistency will carry you to fluency in the long run. And if 10 minutes isn't enough, you can easily add more time once you have that learning routine. So, if you're a beginner who dreams of becoming fluent, and if you don't yet have a learning routine going, then be sure to apply these tips. Now, what kind of resources help you learn in 10 minutes or less? Number one, our free word of the day email lessons. Actually, this will only take you one or two minutes at most. Every day, you get a new word sent directly to your email. And all you have to do is check the meaning, hear the pronunciation, and review the example sentences. This is an effortless way to boost your vocabulary in no time at all. Number two, 
are three to 15 minute language lessons. If you're learning with our system, you get audio and video lessons by real teachers that are just a few minutes long. And in those few minutes, you, one, hear a practical conversation, two, get every word and grammar rule explained, three, have the conversation repeated several times just to help it stick, and four, learn some cultural tips related to the lesson. So for those few minutes, you get the best possible return for your time. You learn vocabulary, grammar, conversation, culture, improve your listening, and you can practice speaking if you repeat along, and reading if you read along with the lesson notes. Number three, drill words with our flashcards. If you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more, you can take those few minutes and drill vocabulary with our spaced repetition flashcards. A study session could be anywhere from three to seven minutes long, depending on how many words you need to review. Just look for flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. Number four, learn with our PDF conversation cheat sheets. If you want to spend a few minutes mastering words and phrases around a specific topic, like weather or talking to family, then check out our PDF conversation cheat sheets. You can download these to your phone or print them and read through whenever you have a few spare minutes. Just look for our occasional cheat sheet emails when you join our learning system. And number five, practice writing with our free writing worksheets. You can print these and spend 10 minutes writing words out. With these worksheets, you get words and phrases for common topics like introducing yourself, must know adjectives, and more. Again, to get these worksheets, you'll need to be on our email list. We email out these worksheets several times a month. So, if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory, Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.